Hey, how is it going everyone? My name is Norton. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing 10 new glitches and tricks in Grand Theft Auto Online. I do hope you enjoyed this video. It did take me quite a while to make, so if you could be kind enough to leave a like in the ratings below, it does help me out. Let's try and go for that amazing goal of 1,000 likes. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest Grand Theft Auto 5 content every single day. But with that said and done, let's get straight into the video, because first up, I'm going to be showing you how you can equip a gas mask with any other outfits you like. So all you're going to want to do is ensure you have bought the quarantine or hazard outfit and then save that outfit as a standard outfit. Once you have done that, you're then going to want to save one more outfit, which is going to be the outfit you would like to wear the mask with. And then the moment you can access your interaction menu while drinking something out of a drinks machine, you're then going to want to swap that outfit of the quarantine one to the outfits you would like to wear the gas mask with. It's extremely easy to do, doesn't take too much effort, and essentially it will allow you to save the gas mask onto any other outfit and you'll be able to save that outfit as your own so you can keep this outfit whenever you want. Next up, I'm going to be showing you how you can wear and equip the rare and secret item, the duffel bag. Now, I have the duffel bag. Loads of players have the duffel bag. It's a very, very popular item in Grand Theft Auto Online, and unfortunately, you cannot actually access this any other way. So to get this rare item, you must make sure you have purchased and you're wearing the Israel shoot bag. Once you are wearing this bag, you must make sure you're wearing it on the outfits you would like the duffel bag with. In addition, you must make sure the outfit is no more than one layer or is an outfit in general just because if it's more than one layer in custom outfits then it will just change into any other bag for example a Mexico bag an Italian bag it changes to even Portuguese bags whichever bag it changes to if it does change to a different parachute bag you know you're wearing the wrong clothes but eventually once you do sit down in any sort of hairdressing chair the moment you stand up you should notice the parachute bag will then change itself into a duffel bag it's a very strange and weird glitch but it's very easy to do. If this doesn't work for you, just change the outfit you're wearing and then equip the Israel bag on that and then go and sit down in any hairdresser. Next up, I'm going to be showing you a cool little RP trick. Now, this is something which will allow you to trick the system. It doesn't get you a lot of RP, but if you are willing to get some headphones and play some music down it and then wrap the headphones around the microphone while you're sleeping or something, then you will definitely rack up a lot of RP. Now, this is a very classic way of making yourself tons and tons of experience points because all you're going to want to do is go into the shower and where it says singing, you're then going to want to make sure you play some music or get something to keep tapping the mic or something. As long as your mic is generating any sort of audio, then your singing bar will keep going up. And every time your singing bar completes, which is every few seconds, you will get 25 RP. Yes, 25 RP is not a lot. However, if you are just sleeping and playing some music down the microphone or something, then this is definitely a good way to make yourself some fast RP because it will accumulate to a lot of reputation points. So I hope you do enjoy this glitch. It's very easy and simple. One of the easiest ones and it's been in the game since the start and I really doubt Rockstar will patch this anytime soon as it is part of the whole game in itself. But nevertheless, it's a very easy way to make yourself RP. Of course, there are other methods as well, but this is more of an AFK way. So if you are going to be AFK, then this is your method. Next up, I'm going to be showing you a cool little jewel ride glitch. Now, this glitch will allow you to sit in the turret while you have a mugger driving you around. It's very easy and simple to do. Just make sure you are sitting inside your insurgent and have your friend who is in the turret to call a mugger on you. The moment the mugger pulls you out of the vehicle, your friend is then going to want to get into the turret and then shoot. What will happen is that the mugger will then be spooked and start driving around while your friend is shooting out of the turret. You can also get your friend to leave the turret and you can get into the turret if it doesn't drive away fast enough. And then once you're in the turret, you can now have a little joyride with the mugger who is essentially there to mug you. It's one of the easiest ones I have done. However, this may take a few tries to perfect because your friend will have to spook the mugger just at the right time. But eventually when the mugger does end up getting spooked, he'll have a nice joyride in the most armored car in the game. It's very fun and I do recommend doing this. And next up, I'm going to be showing you how you can equip a two-hand gun in one hand. It's very useless, but also funny at the same time, and it's incredibly easy to do. So all you're going to want to do is equip a weapon which requires two hands to hold, and then make sure you go into first person, point, and then go into third person. It's as simple as that. I couldn't think of anything easier for this glitch, and it's something which you guys may have already encountered, but it has been in the game since the point animation has been introduced, and I doubt Rockstar will patch this anytime soon. 
But what it will essentially do is that when you are pointing in first person, your weapon will not go away when you go into third person, it will just stay in your hand. As if if you are pointing in third person, then your weapon will just disappear until you stop pointing. So it's a cool little way to bypass your weapon disappearing, so it just shows you're holding one weapon with one hand. It just makes the impossible look possible. So I recommend doing this and it's very easy and simple to do and it's very fun and you can definitely have some good laughs with this. I did this with my friend T-Dead Streamline, he's the person holding the minigun and he couldn't stop laughing. And next up, I'm going to be showing you a cool little wall breach glitch. Now, this has been in the game since the start, but Rockstar patched this and then decided to unpatch it. I'm not sure if they knew about it, but recently this has been unpatched. All you're going to want to do is come over to a location you know you can access in single player. Any location with an interior, it really doesn't matter. But once you are standing on top of that location, you're then going to want to go into your task menu on your phone, accept any mission which has been sent to you, and then once you are in the mission lobby, you're then going to want to back out, and then you will notice you'll be inside the location you previously standing upon. It's a very easy glitch and this has been useful in the game for online because it allows us to explore any sort of building which we cannot currently explore in Grand Theft Auto Online. This is a location which I recently just managed to get into. I haven't really showcased it on my channel and it's something which a lot of people don't know you can get into as well. It's one of those locations which kind of gets shoved to the back of the pile of the market. So this is a location which you guys need to go and check out. It's really cool inside. You can find this just at the east side of the map. It's where you can get yourself the space docker from from Amiga. You can also find this located on the infrared version of the map as well. Pim pointed by a small Amiga sign. I recommend going on a small hunt because there are tons of locations you can use this glitch for and you'll be able to access so many places. And next up, I'm going to be showing you how you can access a secret outfit in a random mission in Grand Theft Auto Online. So what you're going to want to do is go into your outfit menu and then make sure you purchase the coverall known as the red coverall. Once you have purchased the red coverall, you'll notice it'll just be a standard blank, no logo, anything like that, just a red coverall, nothing special, nothing out of the ordinary. However, what you will notice is that once you have purchased this red coverall and then walked out of the store and then accepted the mission Hold Up Burton, which can be accessed by Martin from the level 50 or above, you're then going to want to start up the game, you can host it or just join into the game, whichever one you want to do. But once you are inside the game, you will notice your red coverall, if you are still wearing it, will now be the Bug Stars outfit. It's a very strange glitch, but nevertheless, it's something I recommend you guys doing because it's completely harmless and it allows you to experience your time in the single player Bug Stars outfit, which you can only get in single player while doing a few heists. Even if you don't recognize this outfit or have never used it, you would have seen it in a lot of Rockstar merchandise, even on billboards as well. It's very iconic and it's a very, very well-known outfit. So definitely go and get the Bug Stars outfit, now is your chance to start up the mission Hold Up Burton while wearing the red coverall and you'll notice it will change to the Bug Stars outfit. And next up I'm going to be showing you a money glitch or how to get a free adder. It's really up to you however you want to call this, I would likely call it the free adder glitch though because Rockstar are most likely going to nerf the price of these glitches to whatever car you decide to glitch it with. But all you're going to want to do is find yourself an adder off the street which you can find in the exact location I showed you earlier and park it outside an external garage. If you're wondering what I mean by that, just make sure you have a garage purchased which does not have an apartment. The garage I got was on the east side of the map next to the Los Santos Customs, but once you have purchased the garage, park your adder up against this wall with the passenger seat against the wall. You then want to make sure your friend is in the driver's seat while in passive mode so you can then teleport in and out of this adder which you recently found on the street. Once you are doing that, you then want to purchase the rusty Karen Rebel, pull up the task menu on your phone and park the bonnet against your garage door. What will happen is that the Karen Rebel will no longer go inside your garage because you are holding up the job menu, so make sure you get out of the Rusty Rebel before you close the job menu. Now the next step is very frustrating, so make sure you are doing this as careful as possible, because even tapping the analog stick could mess up this glitch. All you're going to want to do is make sure you are shooting the bonnet of your Rusty Karen Rebel. I recommend using a suppressor so you do not get the police on you, but it's really up to you. But once the bonnet eventually starts to set on fire, you're then going to want to press Y or triangle to get inside the Rusty Karen Rebel. Don't worry if it doesn't work first time, just make your way into the Karen Rebel. Once you are inside it, you're then going to want to get out of the Karen Rebel 
and then press Y or triangle again without pressing anything else on your controller to make sure you then teleport inside of the adder. Once you have teleported inside of the adder, you have then done the glitch because you will notice that it will soon teleport inside the garage with you in it. Now what you will notice is that the adder will then look kind of glitchy. It looks like it's still in passive mode and your friend is still in it, even though your friend doesn't have a clue where he is. Just tell your friend to get out of the adder, make sure you exit your garage, enter your garage again, and then you will notice you'll be able to get into the adder, which you previously just glitched into your garage. But now next up, I'm going to be showing you a cool wall breach in Grand Theft Auto Online. Personally, I think this is the best one so far because you can shoot out of all angles of this wall breach and no one can shoot back in at you and you are completely covered up from any other enemy or player trying to kill you. So what you're going to want to do is come over to the building on the east side of the map again. This is the building where you can do the rooftop rumble mission, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have spent your time. But what you're going to want to do is make your way on top of this wall and slowly push your controller to the right when you are against the wall so your character is sliding to the right. As you are sliding to the right, so you're then going to want to make sure you are tapping the X or square button so eventually your character will then climb inside of the building. It's very easy and simple, it looks a lot more difficult than it is, however I got this first try and I think you guys will get this first try as well. Even so, once you are inside of this building, you can get 5 star police and you will get no hits on you and you can even throw grenades down through the ceiling into the floor below you. So this is a really easy glitch and it will allow you to be invincible to any policeman, any player and you can get 5 stars and cause a lot of trouble and confusion in Grand Theft Auto Online. I don't usually do war breaches like this but this one is an exception because it is definitely the best one you can do in Grand Theft Auto at the moment. Out of all the ones I've seen, I definitely love this one the most just because of the invincibility it will give you and the fun you can have with it. You will get people on the roof, you can throw grenades at them and you can just see them fly away and it's really fun. But last but not least, I'm going to be showing you how you can wear a bandana without having to wear the glasses and hat. So to start this off, you're obviously going to need to go and get yourself a bandana, which you can find at the mask store. I purchased myself the forest bandana, however let me know which one your favourite bandana is in the comments section below, as I understand they're a very popular item in the game. But once you have purchased yourself the bandana, you're then going to want to go into any clothes store, because this is the part where you're able to remove the glasses and hat. So to start off this trick, you're going to want to make sure you go over to the glasses stand, press right on the D-pad, and then go onto any glass category and select no glasses. Once you have done that, you're then going to want to go over to the hat stand, and yes guys, you have guessed it, press no hat. Although it sounds very simple and easy to do, Rockstar never actually incorporated this into their game and they never expected this would happen. However, now players have managed to use their initiative, you can remove the glasses and hat and have the bandana remain. So there you have it, you can now wear yourself the bandana without having to wear the hat and glasses which automatically come with it and this is the compilation of 10 glitches and tricks in Grand Theft Auto Online. Before any of you guys say these aren't working, the time is currently 47 minutes past 5 in the afternoon on the 5th of April in the UK. Now all of these glitches do work as I did do them today and I did test each and every one of them, so I assure you guys each one of these will work. If you do think they're patched, let me know in the comments section below and let me know exactly what you are doing and I'll try and correct you and make sure you do get it right. But guys, I hope you do enjoy this video. If you do, a like is very much appreciated. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for the latest Grand Theft Auto 5 content every single day and let me know your thoughts in the comments section below and any other glitches and tricks you would like to share with the awesome community. So guys, my name is Nort. I hope you did enjoy and have a great Easter.